Hey guys, so I know that there are so many powders out there, like setting powders and corrector powders and whatnot, that I wanted to put five powders from Physicians Formula to the test to compare them to let you know what the differences are and how they work and last throughout the day. So if you'd like to see how the Physicians Formula powders stack up, then just keep watching. So the first one that I tried was the Mineral Wear Talc Free Correcting Powder in Translucent and it looks like this. You can kind of see like the rainbow swirl of colors on it and it comes with a mirror and one of these little rainbow fluffy brush things which I don't feel like these are of much use but let me read you the claims of this powder. It says it's a three-in-one corrector, primer, and powder. In one simple step, this versatile powder color corrects the most common skin imperfections, smooths skin texture, and evens out skin tone. All colors blend together to create a perfect canvas finish. Pink brightens, green tones down redness, and yellow adds warmth. And it says directions may be worn alone or over makeup, brush on powder evenly, over face and neck to even out skin tone with a perfect canvas finish. For best results on dry to very dry skin, apply moisturizer prior to using powder. Okay, so let me show you what this powder looks like first of all, swatched. So swirl it all together. It looks like a white powder. And it goes on like a white powder. So if you think that you're putting on a translucent powder, think again. When you wear this powder with flash photography, you are going to look ghostly white. I made the mistake of using this under my eyes and in the areas that I wear concealer, like to brighten my face, and I took a picture. Man, oh man, I was so white in the middle. It's not flashback. This does not have SPF, um, but it's just very bright. It's not, it's not translucent like it says it is. So just be careful with this, and it's very very dry. It says to use for people with very dry skin, but I feel like people with very dry skin, if they wear this, they would look like a chalky mess. So just keep that in mind. If you have very, very, very pale skin, like almost white skin, this might be perfect for you. Um, but this is too light for me, even on my lightest days. So the next option is one shade up. It's the same powder, but it is in the shade Creamy Natural. It looks very similar, it just has more tan swirls mixed in with the color correcting swirls. And the claims on this one are pretty much the same, 3-in-1 corrector, primer, and powder. Basically all the same stuff. It color corrects most common skin imperfections, smooth skin, texture, and evens out skin tone, color corrects, blah blah blah. Same stuff. And same directions, maybe worn alone or over makeup, brush on powder evenly, over face and neck to even out skin tone with a perfect canvas finish. You get the idea. So I will swirl this one for you. There it is. Ever so slightly different. It has just a slight more peach color to it than the first one. I'll show you again. But still extremely light. This is not what I would call creamy natural. So again, this one, while it's a shade slightly darker than the translucent one, it's still very, very light, which I don't usually have that problem. I usually have the problem with beige colors being too dark. In this case, it's still a very light one, but if you have porcelain skin, you may really enjoy this one. Just use sparingly because if you use too much, it will begin to look a little bit chalky um, or definitely set it with like a finishing mist of some sort to kind of tone down the dryness of it. Next we have the Super CC Plus Powder and this one is CC Plus Powder SPF 30 Broad Spectrum and this is light medium. This one had the colors on top which I thought would go all the way through the color correcting colors it had like the pink, the green, and the yellow all splattered on top. That was just a spray on the top. It did not go all the way through the compact, which was disappointing. But let me read you the claims from this one. This one is color correcting pigments and anti-aging with an SPF of 30. 
visibly corrects age spots, dark circles, blemishes, dullness, uneven skin tone, redness, dark shadows, discoloration, fine lines, wrinkles, and signs of fatigue. And it's the first ever CC Plus powder to visibly transform your complexion with color correcting pigments that instantly help correct uneven skin tone, imperfections, discoloration, and signs of aging. And it says what each color does, same as the last one, anti-aging brighteners restore a look of radiance and softness, SPF of 30. Apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm using this as a setting powder, I'm not applying it every two hours. So it's nice that it has an SPF in it, but I am not going to be using this as an SPF. This is what it looks like after all the color correcting spray has been worn off after one or two applications it's gone so i feel like it's kind of false advertising it says that it's a color correcting powder if that's the case it should be all throughout it that's that's my opinion but anyway this one's the shade light medium and this is more what i would expect from a light medium powder this color you can see that we're gradually getting darker so the translucent the creamy natural and now we have the light medium which is actually a good color for me I did like this powder I like that it has an SPF it had very minimal flashback nothing that I nothing that would bother me um, I don't really feel like the color correcting did anything when it was available on the top but this is a decent setting powder it's it's very smooth very creamy it feels kind of silky to the touch I would say that this is a good drugstore setting powder option especially if you want something with a little more coverage so not a translucent powder so this one i did enjoy next we have the youthful wear translucent matte finish powder comes in a little purple compact like this again the powder on the top it does say smooth flawless even youth airbrush boosting perfect something written on the top but it's already worn off since I've used it multiple times mirror and again the color coordinating little little fluffy brush let me tell you what this one is supposed to do this one is a youth boosting powder with a matte finish translucent color it is the first ever cosmeceutical powder light as air finishing powder invisibly blends into skin, instantly evening out skin tone and refining skin surface for a smooth skin texture with a flawless, youthful looking finish. Acts as a protecting shield from pollution and free radicals. Works to extend the wear of foundation so your complexion remains flawless. And it says proven visible results. Look up to 10 years younger instantly. 100% saw less deep wrinkles and fine lines instantly. 94% saw lifted and firmer looking skin after three weeks. 100% of women would use youthful wear as an alternative to a cosmetic procedure. Directions apply as step three after foundation. Brush on powder evenly over face and neck to even out skin tone. Instantly. <laughs> okay, so this is what the powder looks like. Again, very soft. That's what the color looks like. This one's a bit more on the, I would say, yellow side, but it is even softer than the last powder Sl ever so slightly darker and again this is a translucent powder i would not call this translucent but for people with light to light to medium skin i feel like both of these would work for you medium skin tone definitely not the first two but these are both nice so the difference between this one and this one this one supposedly has the color correcting bits to it but like i said they wear off this one has an spf of 30 so you do get some sun protection in this one this one does not um so while i like the spf option if you are looking for something that's better in flash photography i would definitely go for this one it's very smooth very creamy i really enjoyed wearing this one i felt i i can't necessarily say that i saw less wrinkles and more firm skin but I used each powder about a week and that's probably not long enough to notice if if my skin is lifted and less wrinkly. Um, but I'll continue to use this one. I do enjoy this powder. So again, another drugstore powder option for you guys. And then finally, I have one that did not come in a box and it arrived broken, which is why it's taped together. This is the Youthful Wear Cosmeceutical Youth Boosting Powder and Translucent Illuminating Finish. 
This one was the translucent matte finish. This one is the translucent illuminating finish. Now let me take the tape off so I can show you what this looks like. Same claims, you know, reduce the signs of lines, make you look younger, more flawless, blah, blah, blah. But this one has the illuminating finish. So it looks like this, don't mind that it was pressed back together. You can see the sheen. Again, very creamy, very soft. And sparkly. I know that illuminating powders are supposed to give you this glow, but I don't want to look like I have tiny micro particles of white glitter on my face. So for me, this is not an option for me to wear as an all over powder. It's something that I would consider wearing like right here on the high points of my cheeks or right there, but it's not something that I want on my forehead, on my nose, on the places that normally get a little shiny throughout the day. So this one, I don't know if you can see, I feel like it's just too, too glittery for me to wear as a setting powder. For those of you with dry skin that like that, Kind of shimmery look you may enjoy this but personally I just don't like the look of little bits of glitter all over my face so for me that was a a pass plus it came broken and won't stay shut which is why I had to tape it so overall it's just not gonna work for me so to recap the mineral wear talc free powders are very light and will give you are very chalky and will give you a very white flashback just because they are so light in color. The CC powder and the Youthful Wear matte powders were excellent options. Of the two, I prefer this one because it just makes things look a little bit more flawless and less drying. So I do like this one. And finally, the Youthful Wear Illuminating Finish powder is a pass for me because of the shimmeriness. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of rundown of the Physician's Formula powders, what I thought of them. Please let me know your thoughts on these powders. I would love to hear it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.